In this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how to use face-weighted vertex normals in Maya. Um, we've got a nice, quick and efficient technique to do this, and it's really nice and accurate too. So the first thing we need to do is bevel all of our relevant edges. And um, in order to do that, this, I do have a little script here that will select all kind of um, outside edges, um, outside hard edges. Um, but you will need to go in and select kind of any others that are inside that you want to bevel. Like these, I want to bevel just because that will keep these nice and quadded. Um, so, but let's look at how to do this by hand as well in case you don't have access to the script. So, let's go to edge mode. And I kind of prefer to just actually select every single edge and kind of deselect what we don't need. So we're not going to need any of these on here. We're not going to need any of these, so I'm just going to hold tab and just select like that just to get rid of those we're not going to need these internal ones here so I'm going to hold alt and just double click on those to get rid and these and also we're not going to need any of these here now it's good practice just to kind of go in and just bevel the shape and just see what you so you can see here obviously that's going to affect that shape so I know I don't need those so yeah although I am going around and just deselecting everything like I have did test this tutorial out before obviously so I already kind of know what I don't want so normally I'd expect you to go in and do a quick test bevel see what's working and what isn't um, see if you've missed any edges off the selection is the main thing right so with all our relevant edges selected let's shift right click go to bevel edge and I'm just going to reduce the um, fraction down um, to point 0.3 the really important one is to put your mitering onto none, otherwise this technique will not work properly. Um, in fact, it's probably good to um, save these um, settings as default. So um, let's just undo that bevel, and we'll just go to bevel here, and set mitering to none, and do save settings there and then close. Now if I shift right click and go to bevel edge, you can see mitering is automatically set to none. It's a lot more foolproof that way. Okay, with fraction set to 0.3, that's fine. We've got our bevel now. One last quick check around there, we're okay. So the next thing we want to do is unlock all our normals. So I have a little button up here to do that. But um, to get to the option is mesh display and then unlock normals. If you want to add a button, just hold control shift and click in the mouse wheel and that will have that up there. Once you've unlocked your normals, what we need to do is go around and select all of our planar bases, so it's any kind of flat face like this. Now, a much easier way to do this is to actually go to Selection Constraint in your Modeling Toolkit, go to Angle, I normally set this to about 10, and then what that will do is every face that you click on, it will select every other face that's not angled um, more than 10 degrees past it. So. It's a really, I'm just holding shift by the way to add to select. And all I want is these kind of flat areas here. I don't want any of these curved, uh, curved edges. And the reason I don't want those is because Mayo is automatically, um, uh, by default has applied good um, normals to these. And I also don't want any of the bevels either. So one quick look around your mesh and make sure that you've got everything selected correctly. Notice how I have selected these and that's just because they are still a um, kind of flat face even though there is kind of curvature on this side. However, these you can see they're actually kind of curving around. So with all those selected, we go to mesh display, set to face and just jump into the options and make sure you're on match face normal and just hit apply and then hit close and if we just shift right click soften harden edge and then go to soften edge I'm just going to turn off my um, preview you should see that you now have nice face weighted normals and one thing I want to quickly do is just duplicate this asset and if I just unlock all my normals and just do soften you can see the issues with the softened um, default compared to our face weight. So this is our nice face weighted normal version and this is our kind of standard kind of softened version. And you, so you can see the problem straight away where we've got edges that are kind of close together like here we're getting um, 
a uh, different normal on that face in there and on there too. So yeah, I think that just about covers everything. So bevel all your edges, make sure your mitering is set to none. Then go around and select all of your kind of flat planar faces, but not your curved ones. So all of your flat ones. And then um, go up to mesh display, set to face, make sure I match face normal, apply that, and then just soften your whole model. So a lot of these can just be lined up in a, um, in a set of buttons here, just bang, bang, bang.